Yeah, okay. Ain't no chance what I mean. So YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and boy oh boy do we got a lot to talk about in this one but before we get into it I love y'all team keep it clean seriously and I know I always tell y'all to check on people which is very very important but first make sure you're right first make sure that you're good first make sure that everything with you is a-okay because you you can't really help somebody else if you're not good yourself you can't uh, so make sure that y'all are good. Make sure your mentals are good. Uh, make sure your physicals are good. I've been myself trying to take some walks and, and eat better and eat less too. Because y'all know me. I, like I talked about yesterday, Lamar Jackson, he got big. He ain't getting engraving big, but he got Lamar Jackson big. So we, we've been working too. So um, just make sure y'all are doing good, man. I love y'all. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all supporting the channel just a little bit extra. Uh, if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, uh, the link is in the description. You can go to patreon.com slash engravingvids. Uh, and just, I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting the way that you do. Because support is something that you choose to do. It's not, not anything that's mandatory. But the fact that y'all do it so much, we love y'all. So appreciate it. Now, Josina Anderson. She has something to say uh, about the Baltimore Ravens and the Julio Jones situation. Let's look at her tweet. She said, and, and shout out to Swaggin524. Uh, he asked her, he said, the Ravens got Julio? Because he was actually responding to a tweet where she said, interesting, dot, dot, dot. And you know when people put dot, 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 that means, hmm, there's something that they want to say, but they just can't say it. So shout out to him for, for asking a question. So she responded, she said, my understanding is Baltimore likes the young core of receivers they have. This is not on the radar, speaking of Julio Jones. Uh, at the moment, a number of intriguing possibilities out there for Julio, but enjoy your Memorial Weekends. Relax. So, Josina Anderson was saying a couple of things. One, she said Baltimore likes their young wide receivers, and we know they have a lot of young wide receivers. They got a Sammy Watkins who's only 27, and everybody besides Sammy Watkins is younger than him. So that showed you the group is super young. You got Hollywood and Boykin in their third years, Duvernay and Prochet in their second years. You got Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace in their first years. You got Deion Kane still young, Victor still. Uh, you got Silen Silencio. I'm sorry, I know I still mess up the name. You got Dante. I'm gonna call him Dante. So you got Dante. So you got a lot of young guys. That's the point. Um, so she said that the Ravens they like all of their young guys. Now, interesting. Where have we heard something so similar to that before? I don't know. Maybe it was pre-draft in the Liars luncheon. Maybe because we remember Eric DaCosta, when he heard about all the talk of people talking about Ravens wide receivers, Eric DaCosta said it himself. He said, it is insulting. I am insulted that y'all feel that way about the Baltimore Ravens wide receivers. I'm insulted. How dare you? How, how could y'all feel that way about the receivers that we have? Why? How? I don't like it. I'm not with it. I don't agree with it. I love our guys. And then he proceeded to draft two, not one, but two receivers a couple weeks later. One in the first round and the other in the fourth round. Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace. So how insulted was Eric DeCosta? He, he wasn't insulted at all. He was just talking. And it worked. It worked. So this, this report, because we know in the business of the NFL, teams will put out stuff intentionally. Teams will put out reports. They'll put out information intentionally just to keep people off their tail. Just so their trail is not hot. Just so people don't realize what they are really trying to do. And whether it's accomplished or it fails, it's yet to be determined. But Teams don't like other teams knowing what they like to do or what they want to do. So that part where it says, my understanding is Baltimore likes their young core of receivers they have, they might. And I'm sure they do. But in my opinion, I do not believe it takes them out of the runnings for Julio Jones. Now, the second part of her tweet, she said that this is not on the radar at the moment. 
So, she let it be known that the Ravens, Julio Jones is not on the radar for the Ravens at the moment. She, she straight up said it. And again, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Because... Nobody wants to let their plans be known ahead of time because you have, I mean, the Ravens are not the only team in the league. It's 31 other teams and 30 other teams that could use a Julio Jones. 30 other teams where Julio Jones would make their team that much better. And that's whether they have a lot of nice receivers or not. But with the Baltimore Ravens, why would you let your plans be known when you got other people that are in this Julio chase too? It wouldn't be smart. It wouldn't be good for business because you could possibly I'm not saying that they do, but you could possibly have an offer that the Falcons are like, ooh, ooh we love it. We love it. But if it's no, oh, this is what the Ravens are offering. And I mean, Falcons, whatever offers they receive, they're going to shop them, of course. And they're going to try to go to the highest bidder. And all, it all, of course, depends on where Julio goes to. That has a lot to do with it. Because you, I'm sure Falcons want to get him out of the NFC, especially out of the NFC South. Like, you know they wouldn't trade him to no, no Saints, no Bucks, uh, or no Panthers. They're like, oh, no. I mean, sometimes if the offer's high enough, they may be willing to. But that's probably not going to happen. But Ravens could have something on the table. That the Falcons really like, and they may be with it. But if Ravens let those plans be known, and somebody could be like, oh, Falcons like that, let, let's, let's bid something higher. Just to both spite the Ravens and to get Julio Jones. So he doesn't go to Baltimore. So, but we'll see what happens. Now, there was another report that also kept, that came out yesterday that said the Falcons reportedly have a first round pick on the table for Julio Jones. And the lie detector test determined that is a lie. I do not for one second believe that at all. At all. Because if the Falcons had a first round pick on the table for Julio Jones, who they need to move off, they need to move him off the books. That, they, they don't have the leverage to get a first round pick. They don't. If they, get, if they were to get a first round pick for Julio, uh, boy, I would be the biggest surprised person in the world. They ain't getting no first round pick for Julio. It's possible that if Julio was, if they didn't have this whole situation with the cap and somebody wanted to get Julio, then I think, okay, maybe it's possible they get a first round pick for him then. But with them needing to move Julio Jones, with them re being required to move Julio Jones off the books... You ain't getting no first round pick, my friends. You could try. And that's exactly what that report was doing. It was trying. It's trying to drive up his prices, trying to drive up his market. The whole thing with, with Shannon Sharp and Julio Jones. You Again, we talked about this before, but you really think that Julio didn't know that he was on the air? Julio knew. He knew that. Of course he knew that. He knew what he was doing. Shannon Sharp knew what he was doing. Falcons are trying to get this thing rolling, man. Julio's trying to get this thing rolling, man. They're trying to get it moving. So a trade could be announced literally any day now. Any day now. Now, it wouldn't be official until June 1st, but it can be agreed upon right now. So we just got to wait and see. By this report, it by no means means that the Ravens are out of it. It doesn't. It by no means means the Ravens are in it, but it definitely doesn't mean that the Ravens are not interested. So again, remember how to read these things because everything with every report that's put out, it's not really what it seems. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you have a really good day today. We out.